What up, nerds? It's Jason here from Custom Cans, and finally I have my hands on the real DT770 Pro X. Very exciting. Uh, I don't know if you saw the last video, but I cobbled one together by taking the Stellar drivers out of some DT700 Pro X, putting them in 770 housings and making a detachable cable, and it'll be interesting to see what the real one is like. Uh, right, without further ado, let's get in. Let's have a look at this bad boy. So, packaging. Looks very much like the 700 Pro X box, which is good. So it's going to be an all cardboard type affair. You know, we don't like plastic packaging if we can avoid it. But what's nice is even the hanger, that's, that's cardboard. This all looks very good. So without further ado, let's just have a look inside. Oh, what does it sound here? Uh, made in Germany, amazing sound. I'm prepared to be amazed by its sound. Uh, wearing comfort, detachable cable, and they've given themselves five stars for sound quality. Um, I don't know if it counts if you give yourself it, but we'll see. So it comes with three meter cable, drawstring bag, instructions. It's got the 48 ohm driver. They are 305 grams, in case you're wondering. All right, these are the bad boys. Look at them. Ooh, some definitely seeing some slight changes to the design, like they've rounded over this section here. So on a standard DT770, you've got quite a sharp edge here. It's like my, one of my least favorite parts of the DT770. Uh, so they've rounded that over and they've kind of integrated that this has got more of a curve to it whereas it's slightly straighter on the other ones. So they've updated the design of the thing, that's quite nice. We'll have a look at those in a second, let's just see what else you get in the box. So uh, your destructions and history of bear dynamic, that's quite nice. So it's showing right back to 1924 where they started out and then here 1985 when the DT770 came out, 2015 when the DT1770 and 2021 when the Pro X range came out. So that's quite interesting and then I suspect under here somewhere you're going to have your cable and your case. Let's bust those out. So we've got a little drawstring bag which is quite nice. and. That. So, what they could do is do away with this plastic bag. Nobody needs this plastic bag. No one's going to use this plastic bag. It's not bringing anything to the party. And again, you could do away with the plastic bag that this is in. So, if you nice cardboard packaging, but still, there's bits of plastic that just don't need to be there. It's not, I don't know. But these are the brakes, right? So, that's the box one. Uh, I do like the little orange. Uh, in the bear dynamic orange accent color they've got the zip the little twisty ties that's a nice little touch and the cable uh, it looks like they've got different over molding on this one so there you got more of a a little sharp shoulder this one they've got over molding with the bear dynamic logo on slightly longer neck no it's about the same yeah so that's uh that's just a nice little touch i think it looks potentially a little bit nicer but it's interesting that they didn't just reuse the same cable. They've gone for a, you know, they've changed, changed that as well. So, cable, check. Don't be needing that. We'll just use the, use the one off of 1990. What are we looking at here? So they've got the new shoulders uh, saying limited edition, 1924 to 2024. The hinges look similar. I, th I thought from the photos they were the same hinges as the DT1770. But looking at them in real life, it looks like these are plastic. So they uh, same design, but they're not all machined out of metal like the like the seventeen seventy ones are. So a little little bit of cost cutting there. Clicking, smooth, but uh, but notchy, which is good. Uh, headband, I can see they've changed that slightly. So on a standard DT seven seventy, you can see this one has got a little cutout at the top there, similar. To the HD 490, the new Sennheiser Studio headphone, and having that little cut out at the top helps reduce the stress on the top of your head. It so it makes it a little bit more comfortable if you if you notch that out a little bit. So that's a nice touch. And these pads will fit the standard 770. So that would be a nice little upgrade. So if your pads wearing out, get the new one. That looks like it's probably going to be more comfortable. It's not quite as squidgy. Like that's got a bit more padding in it, but the having the cut out of the top normally makes it more comfortable. So that is quite interesting. Uh, let's have a listen.
Hmm. Sorry. That was interesting. So, <laughs> really nice, really nice. They're better than the ones that we made by just wanging the drivers out of the Pro X into a 770 casing. Uh, they were a little bit too mid forward. These are not like that. They're better balanced. These have got a lot, uh, these go down very deep. They've got quite a lot of sub bass, uh, very impressive bass. They've got more of a peak in the treble than the DT700. These are, these, so the DT700 are warmer. These are probably somewhere in between these and some standard 770s. So I think you've got a little bit of a peak around 8K. Uh, the, the other pair that I was comparing it to was some of our modified DT770 80 ohm ones. And these, uh, yeah, it's definitely got more bass than the modified DT770. And it's not quite as bright. So these are quite a bright headphone. You've got quite a peak uh, in the treble with these. The 770 Pro X, less of a peak I feel or it could just be that they've got more bass that is so it's making it sound like there's less less treble and then these ones are are a warmer warmer sound so yeah quite interesting uh, the sound staging is pretty good on these as well um, I'd say the sound staging is better on the 770 Pro X than it is on the 700 Pro X could partially be to be to do with the bigger pads I found it more comfortable because the pads go around my ear rather than sort of pressing on the top and the bottom and oh hold on let me just have another listen yeah good sound staging possibly definitely better than the 700 Pro X possibly slightly better than the standard 770s so yeah good good sound staging on those the bass is possibly a little bit overblown on those don't know it's possibly got a little hump somewhere in the base that we have not got in the standard 770 pro so the, it's got better sub bass but it's possibly a little bit a little bit bloated i don't know it's uh, it's difficult we uh, i can't i can't wait till some people with golden ears uh, get their hands on these and do a do a proper review but yeah overall i like the sound they're very good. They're very. I can't fold them. I really like the sound. Good sound staging. Maybe slightly too much bass, but that's not always a bad thing. But the bass that you do get is pretty good. I just think there might be a little hump around 50 to 80, something like that, just causing it to be slightly muddy, which could be could be taken out maybe with a little bit of tweaking. But let's uh, let's stick them on the measurement rig and see what we're actually looking at. That will be quite interesting. If I measure all of these and then we can compare them just to give you an idea. Now then, obviously our measurement rig is not super awesome. I would wait for someone else to do some measurements also before you do it. But this is good for comparing A with B. We can see that this one has more bass than that one. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get those on the rig and have me a listen. Okay, so here is the graph that I have taken of the DT770 Pro X. And as you can see, uh, this is going down to 10, the graph is going down to 10 hertz. So you can see it's pretty flat all the way down to 10 hertz, just like the, the mocked up one that we made very good bass response and you can see the bass is kind of elevated above the mid so that should sound good to most people like the Harman curve you tend to have a bit of a bit higher in the sub bass uh, you've got that treble peak which we didn't get with those so it'd be interesting to see what they've done uh, hold on let me just get up the the ones that we made okay so yeah so these are the ones that we that we made just by sticking the driver as it was into the into the thing that's the green line and the purple line is the real one and as you can see the, there was quite a big lump uh, coming up around 3k which made the vocals quite forward and I was really hoping that the real ones didn't have that and that is the case but they have got more of a peak around 8k where it was a bit more smoothed off on those uh, they've got more sub bass than we were squeezing out of them with those but it's not quite as f you've got more of a kind of dip around 75 Hertz and then a lump around a hundred, which might have been what was making that a little bit, a uh, little bit bloated in the base. It might be that that dip and lump there. And then you've got a dip about two hundred hertz, and it goes up pretty flat around the mids. A little bit of a peak around two k, little, and then a dip at three k, and then yeah, again you've got your Bayer peak at eight k, which gives you kind of that detail. So that is quite interesting. It looks looks pretty good. It's not too not too mad. Let us get up the 700 Pro X, which has got the same driver. So the 700 Pro X is probably a bit flatter down in the low end. So you haven't got the sub bass elevated quite as much 
on the 700 Pro X and you also haven't got that dip just after 200k quite as pronounced on these uh, and as you can see the mids on the purple line are a bit lower which is going to make that base feel more more prominent the 700 Pro X have got that 8k peak rolled off and then again the, the very high treble up in the top of the human hearing range is about about the same uh, between the two of them so that's quite interesting so you can see they've got the same driver similar kind of shape just a bit more sub bass on those and then you've also got the peak in the treble so uh, yeah it feels a bit more v-tuned on those <coughs> and then let's get up the modified DT770 with the V3 kit okay so as you can see that is kind of flatter all the way along so you haven't got as much sub bass it starts to ever so slightly tail off at probably 40 Hertz with the standard ones uh, but yeah it stays pretty flat again down to 10 Hertz it doesn't massively drop off and then pretty flat all across the mids you've got a slight slight slope to it and then a bigger more noticeable dip probably around 3k then we've got a bit of a hump around four similar kind of peak but we've rounded it off a bit it's not quite as pointy but you get more detail up in the very high end so you get more of that air with the standard DT770 with the mods above probably 12k you've got quite a lot more going on there so yeah it's quite interesting it's a, it's a different sound uh, so I'd say the 770, the modified 770 are probably more analytical sound. You haven't got as much bass. It's a lot flatter. So if you're tracking a track in the studio, they might be better. I don't know. But for home listening, you're probably going to enjoy the new Pro X a bit more with the big bass. And the sound staging, as, as I said again, good, good sound staging on the new Pro X. So yes, very interesting. Very interesting. But yeah, overall, very good. And also, these are a lot easier to drive than the 770. So these are the ATO ones, and I did have to crank the volume up a bit more to get them to line up at the same level. So yeah, so it's definitely going to be easier to drive these off uh, off a laptop or, or something like that. As standard, these have got a three-pin connector, I noticed. So you can't go balanced as standard, but uh, we've got some of these, so we will be offering them with a balanced connection if you want them. So you can get them with a balanced connection, a fancy cable. Um, might also have a quick play to see if we can smooth out some of those lumps and bumps in the middle, because we managed to do it on the 770 with a bit of clever work on the inside with some foam. And I suspect we can get similar results because the, the actual casing is similar. So I suspect a similar kind of mod, obviously it's gonna have to be a slightly different shape to fit the different driver, but a similar kind of mod will, will work on that. So. There we go. We've done a quick listening test. I like the sound. They sound good, <laughs> which is nice. But obviously I'd wait for someone that really is good at describing sound to probably go through them. But yeah, mids were good. Treble, nice and crisp. The Just a little bit of something in that, in that bass region, which is a little bit bloated, but it did go down really deep. You know, when you're listening, when you've got tracks with very deep bass, it reproduces them really nicely. Let us have a quick look. In, let's, have, let's have these apart. Let's have a look. <laughs> see what's going on in there uh, so if we just remove the pad as I said this is a new pad which will be compatible with the old 770 but with a cutout next we'll remove the ear pads and they are grey foam on the inside so they're the same I believe as DT770 pads and uh, yeah so I wondered if they'd had a new pad but it looks like they've got the same pads as the DT770 which is good I'll take those bad boys off I just take an ear cup off, T6 screws in there. So these are the new hinge pieces and they've got a little cutout in there that stops them from uh, rotate over rotating. So then you rotate a certain amount. Yeah, it's a shame it doesn't have the metal hinges off the 1770, they're nice. Okay, let's pop. Ugh. Ah, so this is this is part of it. So here you've got the standard uh, bit of foam that you find in a DT770, whereas the Pro X they've got an extra thick thing which uh, which cuts down some of those high frequencies, which is probably why you've got the peak on this one and the peak is reduced on this one. So these are, these are kind of designed to be more for the home home gamer, um, whereas these are tuned, whereas the new ones are tuned similar to the DT770 with the peak in the treble, which will help you 
pick out kind of things in the mix a little bit better. So there we go, that's your actual stellar driver there, 48 ohm. Get that out. So if it's the same as the Pro X, these are socketed. Yep, they are. So this is good. So if you blow a driver, if your amp messes up and you clip and it blows a driver, you can pretty much just change the driver without any tools because you don't need any tools to get in there. That's socketed, so it doesn't need unsoldering. Yeah, so this is the new Stellar driver, Stellar 45, and I suspect 45 mil is probably about the size of the, the diaphragm that's in there. You've got a nice little uh, radius bit here where the air's coming out the back to stop it from chuffing. This bit on the back will have had a bit of tuning done to it. I don't remember there being holes in here, so that might be... They might have retuned that driver from the from the 700. Yeah, so that's the... So there you can see, that's the Stellar driver from the 700 Pro X, and this is from the 770 Pro X, and they've busted out some holes in the paper here to allow more airflow, which will have increased that base, which is why you're getting those higher base levels on these and uh, and then this is the thing that is tuning the treble so yeah so they've had a they've had a retune of the driver it's not just the driver wound in the thing so that is why i was getting different kind of yeah it didn't it didn't <laughs> with the standard driver it didn't sound right just in the 770 so they have had to retune the driver for this new enclosure and uh, yeah so that's quite interesting so the driver is different in this then it is, so it's the same basic driver, but they've retuned it by adding some extra holes in the back there. But it's still socketed, which is nice. Uh, and then there, it's pretty pretty plain. You've got a rubber bit on the back here, and that rests on these stakes, giving the driver additional support, which again helps with that base weight and uh, accurate base. It's got a little uh, base port in the side here, the same as the 770, so you can reduce that possibly. So that might be one tuning option if you want to bring that base down. We actually make base port adapters for the 770, so you could maybe stick those on there and tune that base down a little bit if it was a little bit too much. A socket, pretty standard socket, so we could put a four pin in there with no problems. Uh, yeah, overall, pretty nice. They're built very similarly to the 770 and a lot of the parts will be interchangeable. It's ABS plastic and I don't think it's got yeah, I think it's just plain ABS. Doesn't feel like there's any glass reinforcements in there. So the I think the standard ones have moved over to ABS now. They used to be glass reinforced nylon. I don't know why they've changed, but ABS is what they make car bumpers and things out of, so it's pretty good impact resistance. So I can't see you breaking those. But yeah, they look they look probably nicer. They've got less of a texture on than the old ones. Those are more more textured, a bit smoother. Overall, just to kind of just subtly neatened up the design. Yeah, so that's that's the new DT770 Pro X. It was interesting having a look inside and see what they've changed versus the 770 and the 700. If you've got any questions, stick them in the thing. Uh, yeah, I'd like your feedback. What do you what do you think of these? Are you excited to have a go on a pair? What do you reckon? Uh, it's it's interesting. It's filling that little. There's a there's definitely a a gap somewhere that they're filling it. Uh, I was also wondering how limited edition these are, because they say limited edition. But yeah, I don't know whether they're gonna carry on with a non-limited version of these, just with different shoulders, or whether this is only being made in limited numbers. It'd be quite interesting. I ordered, I ordered a few just in case so we can stash them away, and we will be able to sell these balanced, and we'll also be able to do them in custom colors. So once some other reviewers have got, got their hands on them, and you can decide whether you, uh, whether you want a pair, if you want a pair in a custom color, tap us up we'll uh, we'll make you anything you want basically any color you want so that was interesting let me know what you think in the comments and uh, yeah it's been super awesome hanging out always interesting to get your hands on something new and uh yeah i'll see you guys again